So guys, when we execute Cypress in the headless mode, we generate screenshot for the failed test cases and videos for spec files despite of the fact that whether there are some failing test cases in those files or not. Now, in this video, we are going to learn how to preserve the videos for only those spec files wherein some test cases are being failed, All right? Now we have this video upload on passes configuration. Now this controls whether you would like to keep spec files video when they are passing tests. So with this flag, we control whether Cypress will process, compress and upload videos to the dashboard even when all tests in a spec files are passing. So guys, this works in case you have purchased Cypress dashboard service. Now, if you are still experimenting with Cypress and are in need to get rid of videos of past spec files, then this is the video for you. And guys, I'm making this video based on one of the comment on my channel. So guys, starting Cypress 6.2.0 version, we can leverage events like before spec, after spec, before run and after run in Cypress. Earlier, these events were introduced as the experimental features, but they now become the integral part of Cypress. And each spec file runs in isolation in Cypress. Okay. So in this video, to delete the video files generated for past spec files would work on after spec event. Now the after spec event fires after a spec file is run. When running Cypress via Cypress open, this event will fire when the browser closes. This code is a part of plugins file and thus executes in the node environment. You cannot call Cypress or CY commands in this file, but you do have the direct access to the file system and rest of the operating system. Now when running Cypress via Cypress open, the after spec event only fires if the experimental interactive run events flag is enabled in your configuration file. And this is the structure guys. Okay, so you have this on. This is your event and this is your event handler. Now this event handler has got two parameters and these are two different objects. Okay, so we have the spec object and we have the result object. In the spec object, we have got these three properties, name, which is basically the basic name of the spec file. Then we have relative, the relative path of the spec file, which is related to the project root. And then the absolute path of the spec file. Then guys, this result object, as you could see, it gives the details of the spec files result, including numbers of passes, failure, etc. And the detail on the test themselves. Now this is also important to understand results are only provided when running via Cypress run. When running via Cypress open, the results would be undefined. Okay. That's important to know. We have to delete the videos and videos are generated only in the headless mode. So we are good to go. However, I strongly recommend you to go and read more about the before spec, before run, and after run APIs as well. Okay. Now we need a package. Okay. To delete these videos. And in here, guys, you could clearly see them. They've given the example as well. Delete the recorded videos if the spec file passed. All right. And then their package that they're using is Dell. Okay. So in NPM, you would find this package. All right. Like so. And the usage would be you have to import it. And then you simply have to delete the file like so okay and this is an asynchronous function it returns the promise so we got to handle that in our code so guys this is the github repository that i have created so whatever code that i'm going to write you can find that in here so guys in integration i have got three test cases console and ntlm app these spec files the test cases would pass in here i have written a test case which would fail all right, like so expect false to be true. We are going to generate three videos, but we are going to delete the videos for this console.js spec file and for ntlm app.js file as well. Okay, so in the package.json, I've already added this. Okay, the Dell package. Now index.js, all you have to do is you have to import this guys. 
and this is the event that you want to run and you have got this pecan result now we are saying if there are no failed test cases and the videos are generated just delete those videos like so okay it's that simple so if i just save it and run this so we'll observe that the video folder is being created All right, so we have this video folder created. Now the file is created. Once the spec execution is completed, right, we are going to delete that. This is what our event is going to do. Okay, so we are saying after the spec, and you see the video is gone. We are saying if there are no failed test cases and we generate the video, just delete that video. But now, guys, in this case, there would be a failed test case and hence this if block would not be executed and then same will happen with ntlm so video is generated but there are no failed test cases and hence the video is deleted all right so besides that there is one more example that we can find in here now it says delete the recorded videos if no test retry okay so would like to preserve those videos if there is at least one reattempt okay so then you have to write this code you just have to copy this as it is and you have to put that code in plugin index.js okay like so now this is also going to take care of reattempts okay now guys in here what are we doing we are checking for the failures okay and we are saying if there are no failures then delete the videos okay so i hope you like this i'll see you in the next video